Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we're gonna be continuing our digital clock series with T. Kenter. So today's video, we're gonna be talking about titling, the size, and the placement. So let's just go ahead and get into it. So if you're new here, thanks for joining us. This is what we do, we do micro videos. So kind of real quick, we're just gonna run through. So we have our T. Kenter, our TK object, and right now, as you can see, it just kind of shows up. We have no title, so it defaults. So this is our complete bare bones. We cr grab our object, we create a variable, then we call it with main loop. So now, now like I said, we are going to touch on titling. So it's literally just win title, and we're gonna call this clock, right? All right, so let's save and run this again. All right, so, and this has just few enough characters where clock fits in there perfectly. So now, like I said, we are going to do title, size, and placement. So now there is, you can do, you can do size with configure but we're gonna do that a different way. We're gonna use geometry. And the reason why I like geometry is you can do this. Let's do, do dimensions. So 300 by 100 pixels. That's 300 by 100 pixels. So now, this is how you do placement. Oop, did I close that? I did not. And we're gonna do something else with configure. So now placement is literally the addition of plus signs. So we had a 300 by 100 and then literally plus by plus. So here we are. Now, secondary is vertical. First is horizontal. Let's put this more in the middle so here we are and how about we put this just like so let's go over 300 and then 600 and once again so now we are more towards the middle so there we go title and size and then location so a and and there this in case you missed it this is a string inside the geometry method tied to our tkinter class object. So as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Real quick video today, and we're going to build upon this. We're going to work with time next video. But please drop any comments, questions, video requests, and go ahead and give this video a thumbs up for me. And hit that subscribe button, notification bell, and jump over to Discord. Make sure you have all your questions answered. We have a uh, ton of folks over there. We have an aw awesome admin and an awesome moderator uh, able to answer almost all the questions that you have for Python. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. And if you haven't, check out this video right here or this one right down here. And most important, make sure you're hitting this subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks again for joining us, and we hope to see you next time. Bye, guys.